Y fue que dijeron a buscar como unos hierros y fue que sacaron al, al bebé de ahí, del, del baño, de la fosa séptica. Our constitution on Article 1 states that we recognize the human beings from the moment of conception. So I don't see the difference between killing a, a kid and killing a baby inside the womb of his mother. I was in El Salvador, a country that has major problems with gangs and homicides. It's also one of the most dangerous places in the world for women. There's been a femicide involving a pregnant woman. The funeral's taking place as we speak, and there's a lady we're just about to meet who's a local journalist here. She covers this stuff week in, week out, and she's taking me along with her to see exactly what's happened. Just explain where we're we going right now. We are going to the funeral of Lillian. She was a woman who was assassinated this week. She had eight months of pregnancy. And it seems that the husband was not very agreed with giving her name to Lillian, the son of Lillian. So it seems that it is a suspicion, a hypothesis, that the husband of Lillian might be here. Menly's work covering cases like this for years and it's a busy job. Again and again, she witnesses the terrible treatment of women in El Salvador. It's just so depressing. This woman was supposedly killed by her boyfriend. She was eight months pregnant, she was strangled and just left in the street. And about two hours ago, there was another femicide of a woman who was shot by her husband. The cousin of the woman who was killed pulled me aside to talk. Yesterday was his birthday. Her birthday yeah. was yesterday. Why, why do you think she was killed? Troubles. And, Which is like an argument. A uh, couple troubles. Oh, oh that's yeah. all it was. Just a bit of an argument. Was she excited to have the baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was happy. Yeah. The baby shower in this Saturday. For Menly, there's another area where El Salvador's treatment of women is particularly harsh. If you want to get an abortion, you have to think about it because if you are a, uh, a poor woman, they, you can be in jail. We, the women, we are fighting in the streets. We are fighting in some institutions because of violence and abortion. And we, are, we don't have a way out. We need the, the people that have the real power. Men. Yeah, <laughs> the men. We need men. We need the support of men that have the real power here in our country. And they don't want to help us. Abortion in all forms is banned in El Salvador, including in cases of incest, rape, and where a woman's life is at risk. Since 1998, it's estimated over 600 women have been imprisoned under these laws, some serving sentences of up to 40 years for aggravated murder. Even more shockingly, I'd heard many of the murder convictions of people who've had miscarriages. There was one case in particular I'd been hearing about, involving a woman called Evelyn. Evelyn is from a poor rural family, and in July 2017, at the age of 19, she was sentenced to 30 years in jail. The prosecution accused her of homicide, but Evelyn and her defense say she had a miscarriage. I arranged to meet her mum to find out more. Pues ese día fue el 6 de abril del año pasado. Evelyn se levantó muy temprano ese día y me dijo de que le dolía el estómago que no tenía este ánimo de ir a la escuela. Fue que le vi los pies, fue que le vi que ahí le bajaba mucha sangre, bastante sangre, y fue que me sorprendí, me asusté. And then what happened? How did she end up in the hands of the police? Eh, llegamos al hospital, eh, la recibieron de emergencia. Fue de que salió la doctora y me dice, Entonces me dijo, Evelyn ha tenido un bebé, me dice. ¿Y en dónde está este bebé? No, no lo sé, le decía yo, no sé, le decía yo así. 
yo a mi hija nunca le vi así un estómago grande de que estuviera embarazada. Evelyn, eh, su cuerpo de ella era delgada. De ahí luego después llegó un montón de gente, policía. Nos va a llevar a su casa para revisar el lugar, me dijo. Fue que yo me, me fui con ellos. Llegaron a la casa y empezaron a buscar en los alrededores. Y buscaron en el baño, fue que ahí empezaron a, a buscar así con unas varas en el baño. Fue que dijeron que ahí sentían algo. Y fue que dijeron a buscar como unos hierros. Y fue que sacaron al, al bebé de ahí, del, del baño, de la fosa seca. Evelyn's story was hard to believe. How could a woman who apparently had a miscarriage be sentenced to 30 years in prison? I wanted to know more about the case, so I went to meet Evelyn's lawyer, Dennis Munoz. Dennis is one of the few lawyers in the country prepared to work on cases like Evelyn's. They're controversial, and he's been derogatively labeled as the pro-abortion lawyer. How is it possible that a teenager who has a miscarriage can be sent to jail for 30 years? Lo que ocurre es que siempre lo que hay es una denuncia de aborto. Lo que sufren las mujeres es un miscarry, una pérdida involuntaria. Entonces, pero la denuncia solo dice denuncio por aborto, pero no dicen qué clase de aborto. Entonces, el problema es que cuando no dicen qué clase de aborto el prejuicio o el mal pensamiento de la palabra aborto se asume que es voluntario, cuando lo que ha sido es un miscarry. So Evelyn is an example of that. Por ejemplo, claro, Evelyn lo que tuvo fue un, un miscarry, una pérdida involuntaria, que se ha asumido de que ella eh, practicó una conducta queriendo matar a su hijo recién nacido, pero eso es falso totalmente. I mean, it sounds like you're saying that any woman who has a miscarriage is at risk of being sentenced to 30 years in jail. Claro, sí, es lo que ocurre. So no matter your views on abortion, whether you're for it or against it, the surprising thing about the cases Dennis represents is that the majority of them have nothing to do with abortion. They are, in fact, stillbirths or miscarriages. And you'd be hard pressed to find somebody who truly believes that a woman should spend 30 years in jail for having a miscarriage. Yo tenía pensado que al haber una iniciativa presentada por Alianza Republicana Nacionalista. Ricardo Parker is a right-wing parliamentarian for the Arena Political Party here. We'd agreed to meet. Oh, hello. Hello, how are you doing? Very nice to meet you, man. He's one of the most hardline anti-abortionists in the country. And not only does he think Evelyn's guilty, but he thinks people like her should be sent to jail for even longer. Our constitution on Article 1 states that we recognize the human beings from the moment of conception. So I don't see the difference between killing a, a kid and killing a baby inside the womb of his mother. Someone like Evelyn, so she was sentenced because of, was it homicide that she yeah, was? homicide. But was the argument not that she didn't know she was pregnant, then she gave birth, she had a stillbirth? And she but killed the baby. How did she kill the baby? One of the cases was uh, mechanical strangling. The other was with a brick, with a stone, hitting up, breaking the, 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 the skull. baby's skull. I just need to clarify something. I found no evidence that this is true. There doesn't seem to be anything in Evelyn's case that states physical injuries. She didn't know she was pregnant. She had a stillbirth in a house. She did not know that she was pregnant? I mean, for, for real? That is the argument? Have you ever been pregnant? No, I am a man. But there are cases where women have been pregnant and not known they're yeah, pregnant. There so are how cases. do you know that she was not one of those cases? Well, you see, go read the file. The psychiatrist who had the file told me they're lying. And they are lying, and they are lying trying to use and to change a reality. How long should they go to jail? Well, the major uh, felony here for killing homicide, uh, aggravated homicide, it's 50 years. If your daughter, when she's older, she's going to have a baby, there are complications in which her health can be negatively affected. Mm -hmm. Do you think she should be allowed to have an abortion? No. So if she, she could potentially die. Yeah, she could potentially die. The baby might not even survive. Yeah. And if both of them could die. And both could of die. them could and die. And still saying that she can't have an abortion, so both lives are going to die, so it's a double homicide? It's not a double homicide. There has to be a culprit. 
exactly. Are you not the culprit? Is, is society not the culprit if they're not allowing that woman to so have an abortion? We should be punished as a society, maybe. But on the side of abortion, I, I think it should be changed to be Even harder. harsher. Yeah. Okay. It's my point of view. Ricardo Parker is at the extreme end of the abortion debate in this country. There are other political parties trying to loosen abortion laws. As of yet, though, there have been no changes. Evelyn's case partly hinged on the prosecution's argument that she'd avoided antenatal care. They said this was tantamount to killing the child. But Evelyn says she didn't even know she was pregnant. I wanted to talk to a doctor about this to see what their opinion was on Evelyn's situation, but it wasn't easy. Finally, I found one who'd talk. But this was no ordinary doctor. He was one of the very few willing to carry out abortions in El Salvador, risking 12 years in jail. Just moments before our arrival, the doctor had performed an abortion, and the fetus was lying on the table in front of me. I don't really know how to describe it. I mean, it kind of makes you... Oh, man, that is... Yeah, no. Oh, that's his legs. Yeah. I don't know, I actually don't know what to say. That's the most... That's the horriblest thing I've seen. In a case um, like Evelyn, where, you know, her defenders say she had a um, stillbirth or a miscarriage, in those types of cases, what do you think has happened? Con la experiencia que yo tengo en el área rural, te diré que la educación y y la la pobreza son situaciones que limitan en cuanto a conocimiento a nuestras mujeres. Entonces, la chica tuvo un aborto espontáneo que ni a lo mejor ni cuenta se dio que ya eran dolores de parto o lo que sea. Entonces, ella quizás solamente sintió la necesidad de ir a la letrina y lo confundió con sus dolores de parto. How many women are you seeing each week? Yo estoy realizando de cero a seis procedimientos en el mes, pero que lamentablemente no pueden acces accesar a este tipo de servicios. De hecho, las que están privadas de libertad son las que no pudieron, algunas de las que están privadas de libertad son las que no pudieron accesar a este tipo de servicio. Bueno, Realicé un procedimiento de una paciente femenina de 26 años con 13 semanas de gestación. What are your views? Is this life to you? Personalmente, sí es una vida, pero por antes de él está la vida de mi paciente. Entonces yo respondo por la vida de mi paciente. A lot of people would feel like you are a monster for doing this. What would you say to them? ¿Cuántas son las familias que están en el convencido de adoptar. Nadie. Nadie. Entonces, es una doble moral lo que hay. Do you know the reason she was getting the abortion? La chica que atendió fue abusada por pandilleros donde ella vive. I mean, it's really difficult to, to describe when you see the arms and legs and crushed head sprawled out on a table. It looks like a human being. You can understand why people feel that this is life but you can also understand the need to help women who are at risk. For the past few years, El Salvador has been listed amongst the world's deadliest countries for women and ranks first in Latin America. A huge issue with rape is part of this, taking place both in people's homes by relatives and as a form of control by gangs. It was thought Evelyn herself was in a forceful relationship with a gang member, which made things a lot more complicated. La versión es que ella empezó la relación con él hace un par de años. Pero cuando ella ya, no, ya quería terminar su relación, él le dice, si no continuamos, te voy a matar a vos y a tu familia. El Salvador's problem with gangs is out of control, with thousands of young men joining their ranks and living by their violent code. They've become infamous for their terrible treatment of women. If Evelyn was raped by a gang member, it may explain why no one knew of a pregnancy and why she may have had difficulty recognizing any signs of it. Late at night, I found a gang member who was willing to talk to me. If you were in a relationship with a girl and she decided that she wanted to leave you, how would you react? 
depende, cada cabeza es un mundo. Para la mayoría de pandilleros, la mujer no lo puede dejar a uno. Have you ever killed a woman? Sí, varias ocasiones. Ya ni me acuerdo a cuántas. Las he desmembrado, las he horcado, les he metido la bala, les he metido el cuchillo. Como te digo, ya ni me acuerdo a cuántas. What happens if the girl gets pregnant? If you're going out with a girl, you don't want the baby, or if you do want the baby, what are you going to do? Un niño en mi sangre. Y si una mujer lo botara, la pico. La hago mil pedazos. It sounds like you might actually be a psychopath. Hey, yo te voy a decir algo. Yo he matado un sinfín de gente. No te podría decir cuánta. Pero sí te voy a decir algo. Yo nunca le he hecho nada a nadie que no se lo merezca. At this point, I just wanted to speak to Evelyn myself to see what life had been like over the last 18 months and to hear her account of what happened. Finally, I got my chance. The prison said they'd let me in. I was meeting her lawyer again, Dennis Munoz, to head there. So tell me a bit about the prison that she's in now. Bueno, eh, cárcel de mujeres es la cárcel más grande eh, solo de mujeres en El Salvador. Tiene un hacinamiento del 900% de, de internas, es decir, donde hay nueve internas, debería haber una. Es decir, que lleva un año y medio aproximadamente de estar privada de libertad. Es decir, como le han condenado a 30 años, le estaría faltando eh, aproximadamente 28 años y medio para recobrar su libertad, según el cómputo de la pena. What I don't understand is in whose interest is it to send a teenage girl to jail for 30 years if she's had a stillbirth? Son casos fáciles para ellos y de esta manera suponen que mandan un mensaje a la población de que eh, deben de, de actuar de la mejor manera por la imposición del mandato de maternidad. your time being in prison? There were some reports that a member of a gang might have had something to do with the pregnancy. Is that is that true or is that not true? Este, cuando yo estaba con él, sí. Pero casi no me gusta dar información de esto porque a la misma vez siento miedo de que le haya pasar algo a mi familia. Por eso casi no puedo hablar de eso. Siento el temor de hablar de eso. The case was concluded that you had killed your child. What actually happened in your eyes? Solo sentí ese desprendimiento, pero nunca supe si el niño me nació vivo o muerto. Nunca escuché ningún grito de un, ningún niño, por eso no podría decir. Ya lo dicen que lo tuve en otro lado y de allí lo yo, dice que yo lo toqué con mis manos y lo fui a lanzar. Ella es lo que eso dice. En ningún momento lo hice ni con intención, porque si yo hubiera sabido que estaba embarazada. Este, no, me hubiera puesto en control y no hubiera estado aquí. Yo me declaro inocente. What, what do you think of the abortion laws in this country that led to you being sentenced to jail for so long? Este, yo pienso que las leyes son muy duras para la mujer porque ellos tal vez no saben si lo hicimos o no lo hicimos, pero creo que son muy duras porque hay, hay casos de, de diferentes compañeras 
que tienen a sus bebés vivos y están condenadas siempre a 30 años y estando vivos su hijo. Sé que es, quisiera que cambiaran esas leyes para las mujeres. How many other people here are in situations like yours? Sí, hay 17 y más, pero realmente no sé cuántas son. This is a depressing story whatever way you look at it. On the defense's side, it's a teenager who'd had a miscarriage after being raped in a violent relationship. On the prosecution side, Evelyn murdered her own child. Her lawyer's confident she'll get out and said there'll be a Supreme Court appeal in early 2018. But in the meantime, Evelyn will stay where she is, with 28 years left of her sentence. forma más honesta y como mujer, no puedes escoger sobre tu cuerpo. Es un tema polémico. El tema del aborto acá en realidad se ha politizado mucho. En El Salvador, abortar no es una opción. En lo general sí estoy en contra. Las leyes están un poco obsoletas acá. Para las personas que son violadas, pues sinceramente está la opción de... de tener al bebé y darlo en adopción. A veces hay mujeres que sin querer han tenido un aborto espontáneo y han sido injustamente encarceladas. Mi consideración es que si las mujeres son dueñas de su cuerpo, eh, al estar embarazadas ya no son un cuerpo, son dos cuerpos. Si lo llegaran a legalizar, está bien, pero solo en caso de que sea un problema para la, la, la mujer y para el niño también, de que los dos tengan el riesgo de morir. No es un tema de política, no es un tema de religión, es un tema de derechos humanos. 